Record players were way ahead of their time. Everyone knows that the sound comes from the grooves, but how on earth can a groove in a plastic frisbee generate the sweet ear nectar that is Yellow Submarine? It's because sound is just vibration. Say you were to speak into a big horn that had a stretched out balloon at the end. That stretched out balloon is going to vibrate along when you speak into said horn. And that vibration is the same vibration your eardrum makes to let you hear sound. So say you then taped a pencil that would vibrate with the balloon. If I put a piece of paper against the pencil, you'd see something like this, useless scribbles. Now, if I move the piece of paper at a constant pace, you'd see this, slightly less useless scribbles. Congratulations, you just recorded your voice. Good job. That scribble on your piece of paper is the sound waves or vibration that you were making by speaking into the horn. But there's no way to play it back. It's literally just a piece of paper. Only what if it wasn't? What if instead of making a 2D line, we make a 3D line? And that's what these guys did back in the 1800s. The gramophone. Say Lady Gaga sings into a big horn that would focus and direct the sound onto a diaphragm, which is essentially just a fancy stretched out balloon from before. The diaphragm would vibrate and attached to the diaphragm would be a stylus or needle that would cut these vibrations into a wax record, creating a 3D line with bumps and valleys. If you take that wax record and put it through a chemical bath, you'll have a metal record. You can then use that metal record as a stamp on old plastic frisbees. Now we have a record, but the question still stands. How does it play music? You actually literally just do everything backwards. First, start spinning the disc at the same speed you spun the wax record when recording. Then, drop the needle into the groove. The bumps and valleys are going to cause that needle to make the exact same vibrations as the needle that recorded the original sound. And just like how you record the original sound, the needle is connected to a diaphragm. And that diaphragm is going to make the exact same vibration as the original recording. And vibration is sound. So all we need to do is amplify that vibration by adding a comically big horn and you'll get the exact same sound made by Lady Gaga. 